Mediterranean cuisine, cuisine of flavors, of colors, of passion, touring around the Mediterranean. All you see is passion, colors, great skilled women, and amazing pictures. Mediterranean cuisine has been inspired by thousands of years of civilizations, bringing it to the same concept, colors and freshness of the land. I've been touring around the Mediterranean, and especially Lebanon, my home country, for the last seven years, searching for the best ingredients and understanding what makes it unique. Passion, flavors, lots of vegetables, colors, and definitely skilled hands of the great mama. Don't they look like cousins? Fatouche and Greek salad, manoushe and pizza, paella and siyadiye, hummus, falafel and tamiya, and many others, to name a few. When someone asks me about Lebanese cuisine, my answer is, the Lebanese cuisine is sexy. Sexy for the plates, for the colors, for the sharing, for what it is. Did you know that you have more than 100 plates of meza? Did you know that you have more than 100 dishes prepared at home or homemade food? All of these use the same ingredient, passion, and what we call in our language, nafas. Today in our kitchen, we'll be experimenting with training cuisines, using as many ingredients as we can, flavors, richness, spices, vegetables. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the wife is cooking. In the kitchen, let's go. This segment is made in celebration of Fiora Mena Day for Freedom, organized by the Friedrich Newman Foundation for Freedom, Mina and Madrid office. What better way to describe our cuisine? Colors. Tomato paste, cucumbers, pomegranate, carrots, olives, dried thyme, sun-dried tomatoes, potatoes, and much, much more. Hi, how you doing? Hi. What are we cooking today? We're cooking a lot of Mediterranean cuisine. It's our take on Mediterranean cuisine. Uh, Bologna is our way, uh, tomato salad with some Bulgari cheese, uh, eggplant salad, um, balila, which is chickpeas, uh, whole chickpeas with mm -hmm. some uh, olive oil, pizza, manoushe, which we're, we're using the same dough for both, doing an Italian version and the Lebanese version. And uh, what that, else? That's a long warning. Yeah, it is. Let's start! Let's do the bolognese. could smell this every ingredient adds value freshness colors spiciness acidity zesty feel vegetables meat some sparkling wine or even red wine time for the main ingredient tomato juice I would say that's the best marriage between Lebanese and Italian cuisines. Let's just add some pine nuts. Oh, the best part. Then we will cover and let it simmer for about an hour. Meanwhile? Meanwhile, we are going to cook some flat beans, uh, vegetarian flat beans, with olive oil and fresh tomatoes. Flat beans, lubie, lubie bezet, the Lebanese way. Flat beans or lubie, the Lebanese way. Tomatoes, onions, chili paste, tomato paste, olive oil, and sea salt. Let's cook it. It's easy, quick, and super delicious. So we need to cook the flat beans, lubie, until it becomes a bit somehow transparent. Okay, at that point, we can add uh, the fresh tomatoes, the tomato paste, and the chili paste. Now? And then we we'll let it simmer. No! 
It needs about um, 10 to 15 minutes. No! While we wait, let's have a tour. Let me tell you about my country, one of the most beautiful countries on earth. ما بعتقد في محل بالعالم فيه ناس هالقد طيبين كلهم مجمعة ومآمنة بأرض فيها أحلى أرزاق بالدنيا. To balance the acidity of the fresh tomatoes, ketchup adds that little tiny hit of sweetness that's enjoyable. We like to add a hint of spiciness in all of our dishes. Let's wait for 30 minutes and see the end result. Our next plate is a comfort food. One of the best ever, the simplest ever, probably an inspiration from the Egyptians, now famous in Lebanon. We call it balila or whole chickpeas with olive oil. Very, very simple, super tasty, and really, it puts a smile on the face. You boil the chickpeas, remove the water of them, put them in a plate in the middle, add common, kamun, sprinkle some sea salt, sprinkle a bit of spices, and the main ingredient is definitely olive oil. A lot of olive oil. Enjoy it with a spoon. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Mm. So simple, so flavorful, so rich. That's how I do it in my country. Go! Did you get it? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes, An hour or so, a thicker consistency, cooked vegetables, amazing flavors, and ready to be served. Spaghetti, spaghetti cooked al dente, and only al dente. Acidity, strength, textures. Oh my god. That's one of the best things one can eat. So the flat beans are done. 
we dried up the sauce. Ready in less than an hour. Olive oil on top. Usually enjoyed cold with flat bread or straight from the pan. It is beyond. Wow. So one thing you could try is eating it with rice, although this is the recipe for the riceless. Mm. I'm very happy and very proud to be Mediterranean and Lebanese. The dough prepared two or three hours in advance. Olive oil, definitely salt, premium flour, and enough time and passion and love for it to rise. We're gonna do a manouche, a Lebanese manouche, with wild oregano or zubea or zata, and a pizza. Pizza and manouche are from the same family with a different perspective. A pizza, preparing a pizza, you start from the center all the way out, going from inside until the outside and leaving that rounded border that gives it the fluffiness. The manouche needs to be flat, homogeneous. And you do it from the outside to the inside. Fresh greens, za'atar, cheese or meat, depending on the customer's uh, preferences. Since our pizza stone is square and our oven is not an industrial oven, we're gonna do it like a long Louisiana Italian style rectangular pizza our way. Wait in a preheated oven to 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Arak. One third arak, two third water. Lebanon's national drink smells amazingly well. Anise, aniseed, arak, that's our national drink. How to enjoy it? With the simplest of ingredients. Our national tomatoes, that huge tomato balladier. How to prepare it, how to serve it with sumac and arak on top. Let's do it. First of all, some arak in the middle. It's time to serve it. Cut it in quarters. Sprinkle some salt, sea salt, thick sea salt, and the secret ingredient is sumac bread acidic strong gonna add that extra mile a little bit of olive oil on top fresh tomatoes and how we say it in lebanon kescon <laughs> whoa Amazing. favors of simplicity Next on the list, eggplant salad, traditionally called in Lebanon salad trahib, but we will do it our way. Uh, so we grilled the eggplants yesterday. We're going to cut the eggplants and do the layout. Fire grill. It's very important Try. to grill them, to fire grill them, put the eggplant directly with, in contact with fire to have that smokiness, that um, smell of burning, which is super enjoyable. You can grill it either inside the oven or on top. Okay, you do it, I'm watching. <laughs> so once the eggplant is layered out, we use diced capsicum. Fresh pomegranate, a very important part of our Lebanese cuisine. Acidity and sweetness. Every layer of the salad adds the needed ingredient. It adds the needed touch and the needed feeling to have it with. And at the end, definitely salt and olive oil. A lot of salt. Olive oil. And let's talk about pomegranate molasses, a signature in our country. Pomegranate, but the molasses part of it, giving it that strength, acidity, 
light smooth bitterness sweetness at the end pomegranate molasses if you don't know it yet you're missing a lot a lot finally sprinkle some toasted sesame on top eggplant is very important it's a very important part of the mediterranean diet eggplant is everywhere I think you all know tzatziki, which is the traditional uh, Greek uh, dip. So in Lebanon, we have this super yummy dip, which is yogurt, but Wait. Aren't... Let's call it the real way. The it's real called way. Laban. Yeah. yeah. We do not accept to call it yogurt. It's called Laban. It's a signature Lebanese yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> so Laban is our way. It's smoother than yogurt. It's not as acidic. You can eat it with a spoon, with milk, uh, and if you remove the water out of it, you turn it into labne. Let's turn our laban into an innovative salad, even kids love. The extra touch is to put some olive oil and mix it. This is one of Anthony's favorite meals and he likes it with kibbe. I really love it. It's watery, it's smooth. And, and it's the way my wife does it is perfect. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I have a bonus for you. Unexpected bonus. Have you ever heard of kibbe? What is kibbe? You can't say Lebanese without saying kibbe. Kibbe is meat, fresh meat, with burgol or burgol wheat, and all of this cooked in shapes, or flattened on a, on a tray, or rounded the zgharta way, the North Lebanon way. So the best way to enjoy that Laban is opening it up. Take it as a spoon or a bite. Pizza versus manoushi. Why is it called manoushi or curved? Tenna'ash. And because it's manoushi, it's curved, because uh, it's flattened with the fingers, and because it contains a lot of olive oil, it has a different color and a different shape, and it's more, it's flattened. It's more flat. Anyway, and the pizza has a brighter color. It has uh, tomato juice, less or no olive oil, so the, the, the crust is fluffier and more relaxed. Two cousins, same family. And it's the same dough. So here we used some uh, uh, locally uh, made uh, sun-dried tomatoes and goat cheese. Here we used a very special kind of za'atar. Uh, you see these little black dots, these are white pine nuts that we find in the forest. This even banana. better! Amazing morning at home! We enjoyed our time, smiled, and the main ingredient of success is definitely passion. Lebanese cuisine, Mediterranean cuisine, Middle Eastern cuisine is all about fresh ingredients, happy people, sharing, colorful add-ons, and definitely flavors of the land. Generosity. That's the most important part. Thank you for being with us, and Thank we'll you. see you soon. Thank you for the Frederick Newman Foundation for Freedom, MENA office and Madrid office for giving us this opportunity. This segment was prepared for the Euromina Day for Freedom. Thank you and see you soon in Lebanon. Goodbye. Ahla wa sahla fikun. <laughs>